805 Focus is brought to you in part by Nonprofit Connect. Nonprofit Connect provides superior leadership tools and resources so nonprofit leaders and board members can make valuable decisions to move their organization forward to a sustainable and vibrant future. More information on services online at nonprofitconnect.org. Welcome everyone to 805 Focus. I'm Dr. Cinder Sinclair with Nonprofit Connect, and we will be bringing you the latest on your favorite nonprofits. So get ready to be inspired. Our special guests today are Kyle and Val with Junior League of Santa Barbara. Welcome, ladies. Thank, Thank you, you, Cinder. Thank you so much for being with us. <laughs> Happy to be us. here. Now, you know, I've been hearing a lot about the great work you folks are doing, and I know you've got some very special projects that you're working on, and I can hardly wait to hear all about it. Well, we're happy to share about all the great things that the Junior League of Santa Barbara has been up to. So thank you again for having us yes. on your show to share some of those things with you. Yes. Um, so which one would you like to start with? Safe well, <laughs> House? I read about that the other day. Absolutely. Or I know you also do a lot of advocacy. So Wonderful. maybe tell yeah. us about Safe House. Well, of course, we would be so happy to. Um, this past May, we were so pleased um, to open our county's first and only residential therapeutic shelter for uh, minor girls who have been victims of and who have survived child sex trafficking and sexual exploitation. So um, it was a yes. wonderful accomplishment. The Junior League of Santa Barbara partnered with a nonprofit called Four Kids, Two Kids um, here uh, in the area to uh, bring this to our county. And it took about 14 months to do. Um, we collaborated with a lot of partners also in the county. Um, we had tremendous support financially and otherwise from the county. Everyone really stepped up to help us bring this effort forward. So it was really um, just a wonderful group effort and we were so pleased to be able to bring that to the county and now offer this resource to these young girls who are so deserving of having a safe, um, protected, therapeutic place to go after surviving um, what they've gone Gosh. through. So um, it's been it's been a wonderful thing. That's, yeah. that's just amazing. So how many girls do you have at a time in the house? So the home will be able to serve six girls at a time, mm -hmm. um, which is wonderful because it's a, it's a smaller, more intimate setting where they can receive those services. Mm -hmm. And then they go on to a number of um, either foster placements or they will, um, when, when they're 18, then go on um, to, some of them are attending college, mm -hmm. um, some of them then go on and um, support themselves. Some go back with biological or kinship family, which mm -hmm. is always the goal, um, and a really great, great thing for uh, Safe House to be able to place them back with family. Well, how do they find out about you? Um, well, we work with the county, so Safe House oh, so. is um, a state-funded home, okay. and so they do get placements through the County of Santa Barbara. They also partner with Ventura County and some other oh. areas to, oh, to receive so placements from, there. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, and so, okay, so you have partnerships with other mm -hmm. counties. Yes. And so I would imagine you work like with the district attorney's office and... Absolutely, yes. Um, Val and I both um, are, are honored to sit on the district attorney's human trafficking task force and again collaborate wow. with, with so many um, agencies and organizations that come to the table and really work together beautifully to serve our most vulnerable youth here in our, in our county. So it's a, it's a great um, pleasure for us to be able to do that as well, along with a couple of other members mm -hmm. um, of the Junior League of Santa Barbara who, who mm -hmm. sit on that task force. That is just a powerful project. Very powerful. Yes. <laughs> and, and so, <clears throat> so do you feel that Junior League has sort of changed focus over the years, or do you feel like people just didn't really know what Junior League was doing in the first place? Well, our organization actually is about to later this year um, celebrate its 95th anniversary in 95th. in Santa Barbara. So it's been around for quite some time, um, and so we're one of the oldest nonprofits in Santa Barbara mm -hmm. and the largest women's volunteer organization on the South Coast. Mm. And so we uh, about every 10 to 15 years or so do change focus areas. 
Um, we've just switched in the last few years from youth literacy and oh. doing a lot of work with the downtown okay. Santa Barbara Public Library mm -hmm. um, to now our focus being um, supporting and serving our most at-risk young women and combating exploitation and injustice in the community. And so our focus area really drives all of the programs and projects of the leagues, including our many community partners. So it's really our driving force, and I think that it's safe to say that Junior League has become a much more serious mm -hmm. organization over the last few decades in the work that we're doing, the types of projects that we're taking yeah. on, um, and it's really reflected also in the caliber of the women who are joining our league. Mm. That, that is great, and it's so it feels so intentional. Okay, we're all going to have a focus. How many people are in Junior League? Um, so we have a total membership of almost 500 women. About 170 of those are active or new okay. members, and then nearly 300 sustaining members as well. Okay, so to have all those members mm -hmm. decide, okay, here's yes. going to be our focus, I would imagine is no small task. No and, small task. Yeah. <laughs> years in the making. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Kyle spent a long time, and, and our league members spent a long mm -hmm. time researching and gathering information about oh. the focus area to make sure it was the right fit and that it was the right direction for our league members. Gosh. And so, Val, I understand you are in charge of the advocacy, or at least work with the advocacy piece of it. Do you want to tell us about sure. that a little bit? So, um, yeah, so Junior League has an adv advocacy arm of um, its membership where we send two delegates to work in the state. Um, what we do is we analyze bills that come across mm. um, the, the legislative floor, and we see where we want to spend our resources and see mm -hmm. wh which area it means the most to us. So bipartisan legislature, mm -hmm. our legislation will come through and we'll analyze those bills and see where Junior League wants to put their stamp behind. And it's a collaboration. So we collaborate with all of the leagues in California and, and make that effort so women strong and empowering mm -hmm. um, this legislation to pass and move forward. Is it difficult for, to get all of those different Junior League organizations to agree on the same direction? Sometimes, yes. Yeah, sometimes it is. But, you know, we, we're very thoughtful and in, in, in we have um, our values that we always fall back on. So we have an overarching goal and mission, and that's where we draw a lot of our um, decisions you. from. Yeah. Man, that is the mark of a really good nonprofit is mm. to keep your I focused always on the mission. Yes. Good for you. Absolutely. So I'll bet you might have a story that you might <laughs> want to share with us with all your good work. Gosh, I'm so impressed. Well, there are so many, um, but I think one of the most meaningful to us really is just um, you know, how Safe House Santa Barbara came mm. about mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, and one that we want to share. You know, Val and I have both been on this journey since the beginning. Um, but it's been it's been a remarkable experience to be able to tackle housing um, first and foremost, mm -hmm. but but really just in our sort of journey to understand what our community's largest needs are. Um, we were actually down at Casa Pacifica, which is oh, a wonderful yeah. organization, mm -hmm. learning about what they do down there, and someone just casually mentioned, oh, a woman has started a home in Ventura County for. Um, young girls who mm -hmm. have survived trafficking. And it was just a off-the-cuff comment, and mm -hmm. we said, well, we need to check that out. We were actually down at that tour with uh, people from the district attorney's mm -hmm. office. Oh. And so that is how we connected with Chris Hart from Four Kids, Two Kids, formed a partnership, and decided oh, all together to um, try to open Safe House Santa Barbara in our county. We voted in the project um, within our membership on a Monday, mm -hmm. and that same Saturday was our um, annual spring fundraiser, mm -hmm. the gala. And so not even a week had passed, and at that gala, we raised almost all of the needed funds to open the home Gosh. for startup costs. And so um, things moved very quickly at the beginning, and it just felt very providential to us. Our, our members were absolutely remarkable in their amount of support mm -hmm. um, to bring this forward. And, and also to remember that at that time, this was a signature project, and mm -hmm. our league was still working with at least a dozen, if not more, um, community partners on mm -hmm. other impact projects that we do all year. Mm -hmm. And oh. so we have a lot of other work going on, 35 different committees in our organization Golly. alone, yes. doing a, 
a variety of programs and projects while we're trying to bring housing to, to the county. So um, really our, our membership is to be commended on that. They, they take the work seriously. Mm -hmm. We are very mission centric and um, you know, we have this wonderful active membership of women who are working full time and caring for families having babies, getting married, and yeah. at the same time, on top of that, they're, they're taking on some of the biggest projects and needs of our, our community and bringing mm -hmm. them through to completion. So and they're all volunteers. It's an all-volunteer all organization. Yes, yes, completely. And mm -hmm. so um, you have a website. We do. People can go to your website. They can find out how they could volunteer, for mm -hmm. example, mm -hmm. or how they could uh, donate financially yes. or in any other way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yes, we ha um, have open recruitment for new members all cool. over the summer. And so if anyone's interested in joining us, um, we are open to um, all women who believe in the mission of the Junior League, which is oh. to promote volunteerism, develop the potential of women, and improve the community. So it's a wonderful mission. Um, they can join over the summer, and all of that information can be found on our website. We also have a couple of different um, donation opportunities and one that has just been added is that we have just uh, created and funded an endowment to oh, support um, yes. Safe House Santa Barbara for as long as we're able to mm -hmm. and so that was really exciting that we were able to do that this That's year. That's very exciting. Yeah. We're very proud of that. that mm -hmm. every, how everything's come together with this project has just been serendipitous if you will. Um, everything's just fallen in the right place. We have the right people working in the right places so and so, and you collaborate with all kinds of organizations, clearly. We do. And you have a lot of other work going on besides the safe house, <laughs> which is big enough. Absolutely, yes. So every year we select community partners afresh. Um, this year we have, I believe, 11 community partners, which include uh, many that I'm sure your viewers know all about, Domestic Violence Solutions, mm -hmm. RISE, Transition House, CASA, um, Angels Foster mm -hmm. Care, Royal Family Kids Camp. And so Gosh. our members... Um, are trained. We're a training organization, um, which we love because our mm. members are not only having the opportunity to volunteer, but we're training them on how to be effective volunteers in the community. So they receive the training and then they take on these meaningful projects for our community partners and we're continuing to build that relationship with them um, and really producing these well-trained um, women and they go from their time in the league quite often on to other nonprofits, either mm -hmm. on their board or, mm -hmm. or sometimes in leadership. Mm -hmm. And so we're really um, kind of handing them off to the community right. to go continue their great work and, and we love that. That is great. Yeah. So we have uh, just a minute left. Is there okay. another message you'd like for, for the audience to hear? Well, I think um, you know, there's a lot. The Junior League has a rich history here in Santa Barbara. Yes. And I would encourage, if you wanted to learn more about the Junior League, to look us up. There's so many ways that we give back to the community and so many ways for you to learn and, and develop your potential as well. Um, we, you know, have a variety of things that we, you know, touch in on. And, and I think that you'll be surprised what you learn about Junior League. It sounds like it. Well, thank you, ladies, for all of your good work blessing so many people in our community and thanks for being on 805 Focus. Well, thank, thank you, you Senator. Our pleasure. And thank you for joining us on 805 Focus and we'll see you next time.